Hey, welcome. I'm assuming you're here because you went on a ketogenic diet and your LDL cholesterol went through the roof. So then you went to your doctor, or your GP, or your cardiologist, and he's freaking out telling you to get off the ketogenic diet. And you want to know, one, does it matter if your LDL goes through the roof on the ketogenic diet? Two, why did this happen to you? And three, and most importantly, what can I do about it? And the what can I do about it section is going to be simple dietary suggestions, right? I'm not going to talk about medication. I'm not going to talk about supplements or any other crazy therapies. This is like simple, just choosing what fats you eat. Okay. So let's get right into this and talk about cholesterol on a ketogenic diet. So first and foremost, there'll be some people that tell you that cholesterol readings do not matter whatsoever when you're on a ketogenic diet. I don't think this is necessarily the case. I, I would say that cholesterol matters less when you're on a ketogenic diet compared to a standard American diet or any other diet. But I don't think you can just totally discredit these readings, right? I think there's still going to be indications for, you know, cholesterol, HDL, LDL, and all the other types of cholesterol and, you know, atherogenic diseases, et cetera. So I think you should still, you know, listen, look at these lab reports and, you know, take this into consideration. You can't just totally discredit it. There are other people that will tell you that you will see a big bump in LDL when you start the ketogenic diet, but then the body will self-correct. And from my experience and the research that I've seen, I would say this happens sometimes, but the LDL never comes back to an acceptable level. So a lot of times you see a big spike in people and then it will self-correct over you know months, but it never comes back to where you want it, right? It'll just stay kind of a little bit less high. So again, that's not really a good thing. So let's talk about what happens to responders to the ketogenic diet and non-responders. So I'm going to classify, take everyone that starts the ketogenic diet and shuffle them into two groups. One group is the responders. And I'm going to call those the people that you know, they start the ketogenic diet, they get their blood tested, and everything goes in the right direction, right? Their LDL drops, their HDLs up, their CRP drops, their triglycerides drop, right? This is all good things. So if you're here because you're one of those people or you know someone on the ketogenic diet that did see a big bump in LDL, keep doing what you're doing kind of, but also listen to these this advice because you can probably make your diet better, right? Especially if you're kind of a typical keto work. Um, then the other group of people is the non-responders. So you started the ketogenic diet and then most of the things probably slid in the right direction. Your HDL probably went up, almost certainly went up. Your CRP probably went down, although not always. Triglycerides probably went down, but then you saw a big bump in LDL. And again, that's why you're here. So let's talk about why some people are non-responders. So whether you're a responder or non-responder tends to come down to three things. So one, genetics, but you can't really do anything with your genetics. So that it's kind of irrelevant. It's a moot point. Two is tend to be where you started your keto diet from what, like what health status. So if you started the ketogenic from a, the ketogenic diet from a very healthy standpoint, you might be better off than someone that started the ketogenic diet from a metabolically impaired, unhealthy standpoint. But again, you can't really do anything about where you're starting the diet from. So moot point. And the third one is what you are consisting. What are you comprising this ketogenic diet of? What fats are you eating? Right? So that's what we're going to talk about today. And the issue is most people, the common keto work, whether you're a responder or not, is a bacon, beef, butter, and cheese. And for just the coolness of it, I'm going to call it bacon, beef, butter, and brie. So we can get a bunch of bees in here, right? That is what most people shove into this ketogenic diet to get a bunch of fat from, right? And the issue with that is all of those things are loaded with saturated fat. And we know that there's a direct correlation between you know, saturated fat intake and LDL levels. And so for some people, those responders that are on this bacon, beef, butter, and brie ketogenic diet, you might have some sort of genetic profile that's allowing you to you know, metabolize more of that saturated fat in order for you to keep your LDL levels in range, whereas other people might not have that genetic factor. And again, then you have the kind of health status thing playing in there and whatnot. So that could kind of decide between whether you're a responder or not responder, even if you're eating the exact same diet. But we're going to talk to the non-responders here. So what can you do basically to change your fat, your fat intake to bring that LDL level back down? And it's very, very simple. So all you really need to do is you need to take your ketogenic diet and look at it and see where am I getting a lot of fats? And again, most people on the ketogenic, the ketogenic diet are getting a lot of saturated fats. All you have to do is shift that towards monounsaturated fats. Okay. So the easiest way to do that is instead of bacon, beef, butter, and brie, you're talking olives olive oil, avocados, avocado oil, and macadamia nuts. So those are kind of like my big five as far as monounsaturated fats. Uh, they fit perfectly into the ketogenic diet. They're extremely healthy food. So try it for one month. Shift a lot of this bacon, beef, butter, and brie over to avocado, avocado oil, and olive, olive oil, and macadamia nuts. And try to shift some of those you know, animal proteins 
towards things like fatty fish, salmon, sardines, and eggs. And then there's another tip here, and first, first off, to finish that thought, I guarantee you, you will see a huge drop in LDL cholesterol and both of all of your doctors are gonna be very healthy and you're gonna be able to stay on the ketogenic diet and know that you are in a healthy state. Another tip here is that if you still wanna eat beef, bacon, butter, brie, etc., which you can, you should just make sure it's a much smaller amount, try to make healthier choices. So um, when you get like pasture-raised, grass-fed, wild-caught animal products, they tend to have a much higher level of polyunsaturated fats which is not exactly what we're talking about here, but in proportion to saturated fat. So the conventionally raised stuff has a lot of saturated fat and not a lot of polyunsaturated fat, which is like the omega threes and omega sixes. So if you make better choices, which can be a little more expensive, but it's worth it in the long run, you see that saturated fat drop and the polyunsaturated fat rise. And polyunsaturated fats are good too. This isn't really a video about that either. So I'll kind of leave it at that. So for right now, if you are a non-responder and you're seeing your cholesterol levels go through the roof, specifically LDL, shift from saturated fat diet as much as you can towards a monounsaturated fat diet. See where your LDL levels go. I guarantee you they're gonna go down. Everything else is gonna to correct too. So if you did have abnormal CRP readings, if you had you know, abnormal triglyceride readings, you will see everything, you will essentially become a responder to the diet just by shifting from saturated fat, bacon, beef, butter, and brie to those monounsaturated fats, which seem to kind of be a fat that we can eat ad libitum as a human without any adverse health consequences. So you can just eat these things all day and it seems to just have like, only a beneficial impact on the body. That research is still kind of coming out. But for now, that's where I'm going to leave it. If you have any questions, comment below. Give me a subscribe. Leave me a like. Tell your friends. Tell me if you know a non-responder, send them to this video so they can learn how to do a healthy ketogenic diet. Have a good one, guys.